Hello everyone, my name is Fox. Let me introduce you to the GPD Win 3. Technically, this is a extremely old render of the GPD Win 3. This is around 14 months old now. Uh, so GPD first showed this to me in September of 2019. GPD has had this design uh, for a long time. The language that they were going for was very much like the Sony UX, Sony Vio handheld from a long time ago where the screen slides up and there's a keyboard underneath. That is still the general idea of where that was coming from. Initially, they were going to use Intel Ice Lake for this, but you know, Intel Ice Lake is a pig and requires a lot of power to achieve full performance. Uh, in this particular video, um, I am going to be rushing through this because I, I've been asking GPD if we can kind of coordinate on releasing this information. Initially, it was supposed to be the end of October, then it got pushed back to the end of November. Uh, unfortunately, as is always the case, GPD stuff leaks and then I'm rushing to cover it. So uh, I don't have any fancy transitions or any fancy highlights or anything. I do apologize. We're just going to kind of run through this. Um, the link for this leak will be in the description field below. So you can click it and go and peruse it at your own leisure. They do have a list of specs that they list here. Uh, Joe Des over on the Discord thankfully compiled them in a nice friendly list. So uh, there are a few things that I want to touch base on because I need to get clarification on them. Do not take a lot of this as 100% yet because I'm still trying to find it out because it does not match with what I've been told. That doesn't mean that it hasn't changed. It just means that it doesn't match and there is a chance that it's not 100%. Okay, I just wanted to kind of lay that out. So it has a backlit touch keyboard. It is not tactile like the Win 2. It is touch only. Uh, dual vibration motors. I don't know if this is a translation error because they specifically just talk about the 3D analog sticks here. Dual vibration motors would mean that rumble is back. The Win 2 originally had rumble and then was taken away. Um, and then for it to be coming back would be kind of cool because a few games actually did use rumble in a meaningful way like L.A. Noir. Um the uh, L3-R3 is obviously still going to be present. The new standout is that there are analog L2 and R2. So if you feather the R2 uh, analog uh, trigger, you would slowly accelerate in racing games versus it being the older digital style that all GPD devices had previously. The screen size is five and a half inches. So that is a reduction from the six inch screen that was present on the Win 2. So it is a little bit smaller. It is actually the same size as the Switch Lite. Here, they are showing it being Tiger Lake U i7 1165G7. This does not gel or track with what I've been told. The 1165G7 was what I was told to be used for the GPD Win Max 2 alone by itself. And a smaller, lower variant would be used for the Win 3 for power purposes and for price purposes. Uh, so I don't know if this has changed. Uh, take this with a grain of salt at the moment. It definitely is using Tiger Lake. I just don't think it's going to be this one. Wait for a confirmation on that particular part. 16 gigs of dual channel LPDDR4X, 4266 megahertz. This tracks, this is exactly what it is. A single Thunderbolt 4 to a single um, USB-C 4. Uh, NVMe 2280, an A2 micro SD, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5. This is the Intel AX200 chipset. It has a docking station uh, and the 65 watt PD2 charging, and it charges in one and a half hours. So... Uh, this particular benchmark that you're going to see in the leak, I'm going to provide context for you, especially with regard to the TDP that it's running at. And also I ran the same exact test after I was given it on the GPD Win Max at 25 watts. So you're going to see a comparison between it and it is impressive. So stay tuned in this video. Just hang on. We're going to get to that in a moment. Here we're going to see the SSD speeds. Now this is using the Samsung 980 Pro. This is this is just what you could achieve on the Win 3, not what you're going to get, because most likely what you're going to get is the buy win SSD that um, GPD typically uses. So anticipate slower speeds on the actual unit you're going to get. This just says what you're going to be capable of getting. Here is the money shot, really, of the GPD Win 3, because it gives you a good angle, shows you that, that nice Windows screen. But it also shows you the size, so you can get a good reference for that it is the same size as the Switch Lite. Uh, also, they're using the same screen size as the Switch Lite, so that's a really good comparison. Obviously, we still have the Vita D-pad, so everything is still pretty good there. And then they're going to be the Vita-style buttons, full L uh, L3, R3, and um, analog trigger. So it's right now looking to be pretty solid, and I know a lot of people have been looking for this form factor. It does still have a keyboard, which is great, and it also has this docking station. Now, the thing to note here is that there is some contention, and I don't know which orientation it is. This bottom part is supposed to be just USB-C because on the back of this dock, 
um, which I do, I think I definitely have images of it. I don't know if I'll be able to show it in this one, but it might be in my deck. So we'll get to it when I get to it. Um, this is meant to be for exclusively for the dock. The top part would be for what you would use for the, um, an external GPU and eGPU. Um, and then this is with it slid out. So now if we kind of go to the top and I'll go through the history of this with you guys in a moment, this original render, you can see that they were still using the Xbox design language for their controller lay layout. So they had the asynchronous analog sticks. And then it switched to the PlayStation way. So it's synchronous, inline. And the reason for that was we had pointed out to them that if um, the analog stick was right here, you wouldn't be able to, it would be getting in the way when you had to lean your th thumb over. So they repositioned that. And then you can see what it looks to be like a fingerprint sensor, which was on the left-hand side, got moved over to the right-hand side. And then you have some memory benchmarks. So um, let's go ahead and quickly look at some images that I have. So this is going to show you the top part. Um, so you can see the volume control, uh, HDMI out. And then even here, they're still using digital L2 and R2. Remember, again, this is super, super old. Um, it's This is 14 months old. This is not really what's present today. Um, and here's the back and you can see that they are really starting to kind of try to pay attention to ergonomics. So what looks like to be the battery bump outs, um, are also double doing double duty as ergonomics for the device itself. And here we can see the original, uh, slide out keyboard where the analog stick was down here. And this is when we kind of talk to GPD about it and say, and say, Hey, that's going to get in the, uh, in the way there. Um, that's the shot that you guys all seen. Uh, okay, so yeah, here's the back of the dock, which you guys didn't see yet. So you can see here is where the fan is and then the back of the dock so that it still gets a lot of cool air when it's there. And then you have the full um, docking accessories type of thing. So this is a dock that GPD does plan on selling. Uh, here's the front of it that you guys already seen. Here's a side view that no one I don't think has seen just yet. Or maybe you guys have. There's other leaks that are going around. Um, that's the one you guys already seen. And there's a, again, this is just the old, old mock-up. This one is not anything new. So here we are at the benchmark itself. Um, this is at 15 watts, and you can see Intel G graphics. So this is running Tiger Lake. More to the point, this is running on the GPD Win 3 itself. So if we take a look at this P6157 score, take a look at that graphic score right here. This is 6010. Now watch, watch this. Look at that graphic score, 4321. Look at this, Intel Iris Plus. Do you know what this is? This is the GPD Win Max running at 25 watts. P46. GPD Win 3 at 15 watt. GPD Win Max at 25 watt. So we're looking at a 50% greater GPU performance at 10 watts less. That's huge. Um, that's ginormous. It's significant. Uh, but again, this is also supposed to be the lower variant, uh, not the 1165 G7, but the lower variant. Um, so again, let's wait until we get actual confirmation uh, on what's going to go on. But this is the lesser, um, and things still look really good. Um, I guess that's the end of my deck. <laughs> so yeah, uh, basically, uh, I can finish it up here. We've seen the GPD Win 3. Um, let me go. Yeah, let's just leave it at that because that's a that's a good way to to leave this particular video. Um, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I was gonna like, can I zoom in? Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, the performance of it is looking pretty good so far. The specs that have been revealed are close. They might not be a hundred percent yet. So again, just wait for me to kind of flesh out some more information. I'm going to talk to GPD directly about this and kind of try to suss out what's going on. And I will reveal more to you guys. There are still newer images yet that you guys have not seen of the actual device because the actual device exists. Um, so that's it. As always, guys, thank you for your time. Thanks for watching.